Hey friends, welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you are not new here, welcome back and thanks for being here. If you are new here, my name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four. I, in the upcoming school year, we will have an eighth grader, um, a fourth grader, a kindergartner and a preschooler so that is for our 23-24 school year and this week I will be sharing videos of our like final curriculum picks so I have already shared my curriculum picks I will link them here if you'd like to see those videos but since that time I have decided to make a few changes there are some things that when I post those that some of you guys shared with me some other things that you guys were using that I looked into and thought I might like better so I wanted to give you guys an update on all of um, what we have chosen which is our final choices our final decisions and Cassie over at regular secular mama she was decided to host a um, curriculum pick collaboration and so I thought that was perfect I already wanted to update you guys so I am joining in with her and a bunch of other secular homeschool moms so her channel and the playlist will be linked down below so I hope you guys will um, check those out and come along and see what we are all have decided to use um, as our final final choices um, at least for me this is my final final choices this is what I'm starting to put into my schedule for next year I forgot to men mention in the intro that today's video is going to be 8th grade, um, Wednesday's video will be 4th grade, and then Friday's video will be um, kindergarten. So I am um, putting them out throughout the week. So today, as I said, is going to be 8th grade. I'm just going to kind of go down the list here. It is kind of a lot. Um, it looks like a lot, but she is going into eighth grade and it is time for her to kind of step up her game and start getting some really serious learning under her belt. I'm by no means afraid to stop a curriculum if it seems too much for us. So I am totally okay with saying, you know what, we have too much on our plate. We're going to put this on the back burner for a little while. So even though this is what I'm showing you, these are all the resources I'm going to have available to her. What I want to try to get to in this year for her, um, because once she hits high school, these are kind of all the things that she's going to need anyways. So we are kind of gearing up for that. So come along and I will show you what we are doing. First up is math. We are, we have already started algebra one. Um, I got the edition that has geometry in it as well um, from Saxon Math. So this is her textbook. We are using Nicole the Math Lady. I'll put a little screenshot here um, to go along with this. We started it. Um, already so she's been working on it throughout this summer but that's what we are using for math and then next up is kind of the whole english language arts umbrella so if you don't know we've been using brave writer literature guides for a very long time um, we are going to continue to do that we do not get through one a month like the program is designed to do it probably takes us closer to two months to finish one because we are working on other things during that time as well um, and so I'm expecting that to kind of continue like a, a month and a half to two months we will continue to do those we'll get through as many as we get through when we finish a book we just get a new one we just go through however many we get through but but for the rest of that language arts umbrella we are going to use three things so we are going to use fix it grammar you guys know we absolutely love it so she I don't know that she's gonna quite get through this whole book by summer time uh, or by the end of summer by the end of next year I think she's gonna have about 10 lessons left in this so we will finish up this um, is level three we'll finish up uh, Robin Hood level three and I will pick up level four for her. So we will be using Fix-It Grammar and then we are going to be using um, Zaner Blozer's Spelling Connections. I'm going to put a picture here because I haven't actually technically bought it yet um, but Nikki over at Blessed Homeschool Mess she shared about this. I really liked it at the time but I was like we like what we're doing sequential spelling um, but my daughter's starting to complain more and more and more about the sequential spelling and the more I like thought about it, the more, you know, it's been, it's been in the back of my mind, in the back of my mind. And I feel like I'm just kind of being drawn to it. 
Um, so we are gonna go ahead and pick up that Spelling Connections and use that for her in the upcoming year. I will probably pick up level six. I think that's what I'm leaning towards um, because spelling is kind of a weak point for her and I, don't, I want it to be easier rather than harder um, so that she's not getting, she, she struggles with making mistakes and I want it to be a little bit easier for her because I just really want to, her to foster the skills more so than like challenge her in this area. So we will be using that as like our two main like grammar things. And then the last component of my English language arts is writing. Um, and I have decided to pick up layers of learning the writer's workshop. So I'll put a picture here as well because I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to hold out for a sale and see if they have a sale. If not, I'm just going to go ahead and pick it up. It's not. I get the PDF and it's only like $45, so it's not that bad. Um, so we are going to pick that up and we are going to use that. Um, I'm going to rotate that with... Um, the lit guides like so we'll we'll do read alouds all week long and then we'll do a lesson from the lit guides probably once maybe twice a week depending on on how much we get through and then we'll do a writing lesson uh once or twice a week so if we're doing the lit guide twice we'll do the writing lesson once if we're doing the lit guide once we'll do the writing lesson twice so. okay i know i said that was the last thing but i i always forget about this root words we love root words and um, we're maybe about halfway through this book so we're going to finish this book move on to the next book. We only do one lesson a week um, and that's all we do. I She is gonna do Spelling Connections three days a week and then this on the fourth day. So on the lighter day, one of the lighter days she'll be doing this because it's really short lessons. So that is all for English language, language arts. So moving on to history slash science. I say that because we are combining um, history and science together this coming year using the big history project. So I did share a video, I'll link it here and down in the description for you guys. Um, I shared a video on what big history project is, um, how you can use it. It is a free online program designed for public schoolers, but you can adapt it and use it for anybody. And so I did a whole video on what that is and how we're gonna be using, not, not exactly how we're gonna be using it. I have another video coming out on that in a few weeks. Um, but but I shared what that was, and we are combining that with um, Build Your Library History of Science and um, Curiosity Chronicles. So the Build Your Library uses this um, Story of Science uh, textbook, so we will be using that. And we'll be using Curiosity Chronicles in conjunction with the Big History Project. I'm also expanding the science in there because the Big History Project does have science in it already. So I'm expanding the science and including um, science chunks from Elemental Science and, and using the Usborne Scientific Encyclopedia QR codes to kind of beef it up for my 8th grader. I do also have History Quest that I will be supplementing with as needed or as we find we want to. I have a whole video, it will be coming out later this month on exactly how I'm piecing all of those pieces together. Yes, it seems a lot like a lot of pieces, um, but I it's going to be our history and our science and kind of the main focus of her year. Um, so that is that. Other than that, we are going to be doing, um, oh, I forgot. I will be using um, layers of learning art beginnings because it does go through history and it's like the beginning of history, which it lines up with the Curiosity Chronicles and the Big History Project that we are using. Okay, so next up we do this section as a family um, style, but I'm gonna go ahead and mention it here because this is part of what we're using for um, eighth grade. Um, we've been using the Philosophy of Science book, or Philosophy for Kids, sorry, Philosophy for Kids book by uh, David A. White. I do have a review on it right here. We are kind of nearing somewhat of the end here. I, he does have a second book, so I'll be picking that one up when we're done with this one, um, if we finish it this year. But I've decided to add the Fallacy Detective to go along with it. So we're gonna do both of these together. Um, this one, I'm not 100% sure if it's secular. Um, I have glanced through it, read a little bit of it, haven't seen anything so far that I haven't been comfortable with. Um, but as we use it, I will update you guys on that as well. Last but not least, I do want her to start focusing more on um, like computer, like using like 
using Microsoft, using Google, um, computer safety, typing, all of that kind of stuff. Um, so I do have a video, I don't know if it's gonna go before or after this, um, showing you how, what I found, um, like Google has Google for Education, um, and they have like an online safety course. So I am setting that up for her to do. We are gonna um, focus again on typing. We have done typing in the past, but I feel like she needs a little bit of a refresher. Um, so I'm considering having her do a keyboarding class through Florida Virtual School. Um, so I'm considering that, but I also want her to do a Florida Virtual School course that's digital art because she really is into art and she loves it and I think digital art is something that would be really good for her. And she needs to have an online class for high school, for high school graduation. And I don't want that one class to be the first online class she's taking. So I want her to be kind of comfortable with the process before she gets there. So I do want her to do that class. I, so I haven't decided if I'm gonna have her do both or just one at a time, but the digital art class is a full year class and the keyboarding class is just a semester. So I don't know if we'll start with the digital media first and then add on the other one later in the year or do them both in the beginning and drop, you know, and then she'll have less later on in the year. So I haven't decided quite yet. Um, or if I'm just gonna get a typing, you know, an online typing program and just have her work on that. So that is where we are with uh, eighth grade. So yes, it does kind of seem like a lot, but a lot of these like fix it grammar goes really, really quickly. I'm hoping the smelling connections will go um, pretty quickly as well. We haven't tried it yet, but I'm excited to try that out. The lit guide lessons usually go semi quickly for us. Um, and then the history project is going to probably be the, the bulk of her learning, which I'm expecting to take, you know, somewhere around the 30 minutes to an hour mark. And then she'll have her math, which is typically 40 minutes to an hour. So I'm, she's really still only looking about like maybe three to four hours of school a day on our big days. Um, so I think that is pretty reasonable. Um, for her since she is going into the eighth grade. So that is what we're looking at. I hope you have found any of this helpful or useful. If there's anything that you want to see further detail, um, so some of these things I do have reviews already on my page, so you can check those. Um, if I don't um, have it already, then I will go ahead and put it out for you, or it may be coming soon anyways, because there are a couple of things on here that I do have planned for future months. So. I think that's it. I hope you will check out the playlist again down below. That is a bunch of secular moms sharing what they are using. It's going to be all week long here. Um, so feel free to check back to that playlist after, um, for the rest of the week. Thank you again to Cassie for hosting today or this week. And I hope you guys will come back and chat with me again soon. Don't forget you can follow us over on Instagram at homeschoolology and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.